What's up, YouTube? Ryan back today with another Minor League Monday. Today, we're talking about a player who might be the best five tool player left in the minor leagues. Let's go. The player we're focused on today is Zach Veen of the Colorado Rockies. He's currently the 22nd overall prospect in baseball and the number one prospect in the Colorado Rockies organization. Zach Veen is incredible. He was one of my favorite draft picks back in 2020. Dude's a five-tool player. He's got power. He's got speed. He can play defense. He can do it all. Let's jump into him a little bit. Break him down for you guys. Let's go. All right, Zach Veen, he is 20 years old. He's going to be turning 21 in December. He was on the older side out of high school, so I will say that is the only downside of Zach Veen. Other than that, he is 6'4", 190, and scouts love him. 60 hit, 55 power, 50 run, which I think is going to be upgraded. I just, I can't believe that's not at a 55 or a 60. 60 arm, 55 field, 55 overall. And then last but not least, Zach Veen, he was drafted in 2020 in the first round. He's the ninth overall pick, one pick after Robert Hassel. All right, let's jump into Zach Veen's stats so I can show you exactly why I love this player so much, why he is so special. So he's drafted in 2020, right? 2021 was his first full year. And I apologize. You're gonna have to watch my dogs running around behind me today. Anyways, he was drafted in 2020 during the pandemic. There was no short season to be played that season, which stinks, but got a full season in 2021. Got a first look at Zach Veen on who he was. And at 19 years old, he did really well. Before I say the stats, I will say for about the first two months, Zach Veen was horrible. He was not good. He was borderline looking like a bust. And this is what he ended up with his first year. Over 106 games, 301 batting average, 399 on base percentage, 901 OPS. He had 15 home runs, four triples, 27 doubles. 120 hits in 106 games. He walked 64 times on top of that. Did strike out 126 times. Strikeout numbers were a little elevated last year. And I think the most impressive thing is he stole 36 bases on top of those 15 home runs. Absolutely love that. Had an awesome first year. Over a 900 OPS in your first professional season hitting wood bat. Yeah, sign me up for that. So 2022 comes around. They move him up to high A Spokane. Over 81 games so far this season, and I will say, he started off slow again. It was about the first month, month and a half, he was not looking too great. So he's turned it around as he did his first year, and I'm expecting a big second half from him as well. And so far, over 81 games, hitting 273, so batting average has dropped a little bit. On base percentage, has dropped a little bit too at 374, and then an 834 OPS. So he has kind of dropped across the board, which is okay moving up a level. But the one thing I will say that has improved is his power. He has 11 home runs already. He's on pace to, to break his 15 from last season. He's also stolen 42 bases already, which is insane in 81 games. Absolutely love that. And then the one thing that sticks out to me the most is his strikeout rate is way down. So love that. I think Zach Fien has a big second half here. Ends up having a very similar year to last year as far as the OPS and stuff. That's my prediction. And I think next year he kind of figures it all out. And I think when he figures it all out, it's going to be very scary. And I think he's going to be one of the top talents in MLB when he hits his prime. All right, everyone's favorite time of the video. Let's talk about some sports cards a little bit. So... Zach Veen, 2020 Bowman Draft. That was the product he was in for his Bowman Chrome first. That's what we're going to focus on since he doesn't have a rookie card yet. So 2020 Bowman Chrome. You can get his Refractor PSA 9, $250. Autographs are pretty expensive for Veen, I'm not going to lie. You can get a PSA 9 base Chrome for $5, though. His non-auto stuff is super cheap right now. Refractor PSA 9, $15. I absolutely love this here. The Asia Refractor PSA 10, $74. Sapphire 78 and a PSA 10. Love that. I'll say it time and time again. I think 2020 Bowman Draft Sapphire is the product to pick up because the quality just wasn't great on it. There's not going to be a lot of PSA 10s for any player, to be honest. So I absolutely love that price of $78 there. Uh, let's see if we can get something we haven't seen yet. Speckle Refractor, $36. All right, let's jump into his raw price a little bit. You can pick up his just base refractor if you can find a good one. Under $15 right now is ridiculous. You can grade that out. You can pick up his Bowman Chrome base card for $1. Like, come on now. I know it's a base card. People don't love base cards. But $1 for Zach Veen, sign me up for that. $15 for raw sapphire. That is crazy cheap. I would buy that all day, every day. And then I'm going to show off some auto prices here. So we saw the refractor PSA 9 already. So we'll just go through here. $132 base auto. Not terrible, honestly, for the ceiling that Zach Veen has. I will say in the Colorado Rockies organization, 
prices are usually a little bit lower, but they actually have a good farm system right now. I think they're going to have a good team in a few years here. Uh, PSA 9 blue, 503. We got a raw blue for 300, raw black for 650, 611 there. And this is crazy to me. Someone got an absolute steal here out of 71 for 281. Look at this. This is lower numbered than this one, and it sold for over 50% more. Absolutely love that. PSA 9 true gold, 1100. So his auto prices are pretty expensive. I'm just going to scroll through them here. BJS 9.5 with the 10 auto. Love that card. $152 only. Like, that makes me want to buy it. I love BGS 9.5 with the 10 personally. So absolutely love Zach Veen. I actually think his, his prices are pretty reasonable. Autographs are a little bit on the expensive side, but if you want something that's not that expensive, his base auto is very, very affordable at 150 bucks. Like love that. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for today's video. So Zach Veen, I absolutely love him. I think he's one of the top five tool talents left in the minor leagues. I honestly think he might be the best. I think he has a ton of power that he still hasn't tapped into. His speed has shown. He can get on base. He can play defense. He can do it all. He is very good. And his cards really aren't that expensive either. So raw stuff is super cheap right now. Just across the board in sports cards, I definitely recommend picking up some raw Zach Veen cards. If you want really cheap base, some base refractors, sapphire especially right now i think is extremely affordable and that 2020 sapphire yeah buy all of it because those pop counts are not going to be high so i love his car prices right now again his autos are a little more expensive but still if you just want an autograph just get the base auto like the pop count is not going to be super high on the base so that's a card down the road that's probably going to triple or quadruple if you get it at 130 dollars like but yeah that's gonna do it for today's video as always if you guys like this video please give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments what you think of zach veen is he legit is he that guy let me know what you think in the comments below thank you all for watching have a great rest of your day see ya